my gosh! Mmm! <laughs> Let's drown this baby. Come on, baby, I need gravy. Give me, give me, give me, give me gravy tonight. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, I'm super excited to tell you baby girl is going to be on her way. Uh, Mariah was taken into the hospital this morning, and they are going to proceed with her induction her to induce her. Uh, so we are going to be meeting baby girl pretty soon. I'm so excited. If you guys can please keep my beautiful niece Mariah and her her precious baby in your guys' prayers, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Make sure she has a smooth and easy and healthy um, delivery and baby. All right, guys, with that being said, um, let's go ahead and get into what we're eating today. You guys, there is a new um, fried fish at Arby's. And it is called the Hush Puppy Battered Fried Fish. I got some mozzarella sticks, some curly fries. Oh my God, Arby's curly fries. Bomb, bomb, okay. Oh, you guys, I've been on the go. Me and mama went and got uh, some groceries today and uh, we've been so excited for Mariah. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I love when these little critters go to the bottom. Look at this. Look at how cute. Okay. Okay, let's move these fried fish over here. Oh my God. Everything's fresh and piping hot. Okay. Whatever. Anywho, anyway, let's go ahead and get started because I am stwalvin. Heavenly Father, I ask that you please bless this meal in the hands I prepared it. May you provide for those going without. Heal, bless, protect, and provide for all of my BGA crew and everyone watching, including my friends and family. In your precious heavenly name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right. So, that's what we gonna do. Uh, you wanna try this, Ma? The Hush Puppy Fried Fish? <laughs> yes, or do. <laughs> She always tells me maybe and then leaves me hanging. Okay. All right, we're gonna use this as a platter. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Wow. I love that Arby's has curly fries and crinkle fries. And I love how they always make everything so fresh. I i don't think I've ever had anything cold or pre-made sitting there like other fast food restaurants when it comes to um, Arby's. Oh my gosh. I did try these. Shout out to my girl, my lenders, Lindy B. Um, she's the one who put me on these Hush Puppy Fish. Oh my God. I had a three piece the other night just to sample it before today. And let me just tell you, baby. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Look at that. The curly fries are just... Uh. I was so crisp. Like it down. All right, let's try the marinade. I've never had their mozzarella sticks, mozzarella. Mmm. Oh, baby. I need gravy. Mmm. Oh my gosh, mom. You gotta try the mozzarella, the fish. Mmm. I know how much you love mozzarella sticks. Mm. 
Can I just have a little piece of mozzarella? And... Oh, you sure can. Some marinara. And then, let me open a new tartar because I double dipped. I think I double dipped. Mm. Isn't that yum? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Some tartar. Mm-hmm. There you go. Let me see. It's safe to say this is Mama Appetite approved. Mm. Look at these new hush puppy. Um, they're like better than like cornmeal. The hush puppies. You guys, you mm. gotta go get this fish stick. Mm. Oh wow! Hold on, I need some Tabascos. My Tabascos. Mm -hmm. We got a brand new bottle right here. Right here, right here, right here. Thank you, son. That's so yummy. Oh, you're welcome, mama. My beautiful mama. Oh. Okay. Wow. Let's drown this baby. Come on, baby. I need gravy. Give me, give me, give me, give me gravy tonight. I am so excited, though. I, I am so excited. Poor Mariah has been suffering for months. But I told her, andale. You want to be getting pregnant with your 20th kid? Mm-hmm. Keep it up. Mm. <clears throat> oh, wow. Mm. This is the best fish on the fast food market, in my opinion. <laughs> wow. And these mozzarella sticks are better than Jack in the Boxes. Way better. Wow. It's all about the crust for me. And I don't mean crust roña. The crust you get under, you know, your elbow, under your titties, on your cheeks, on your neck, on your knees. Uh-uh. And your crevices. Not that crust. I'm talking about breaded. No roña. No me traigan ni un costroso roñoso para acá. I'll say it in English. I don't want no crusty dusties over here, honey. Two, two. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> Oh Who else loves curly fries? My gosh. Mmm. So good makes me just want to fight. Of Diet Dr. Pepper cancels out all the carbohydrates, 
I'm on a diet, so Diet Dr. Pepper. Mm. Wow. I am a sucker for fried fish. This is, I think, Alaskan Pollock, if I'm not mistaken. Or Alaskan Cod. Something like that on the billboard. <clears throat> but I love, I'm a big fan of Hush Puppies. So that Hush Puppy batter. Holy cow. And here comes the princess of the house. You hear her little tap dancing. What, well, mama? Poor Mariah, though. I have seen her suffer from back pain. My poor baby. I love my little niece, you guys. I love her so much. And um, I, I used to babysit her and her older sister. This is, you know, for those of you that don't know, my sister that just passed. This is her daughter. And um, I remember I had went and lived with my sister one summer. Not lived, but I stayed one summer when I was a teen with my sister while she worked. Mm, I would babysit Mariah and Selena. The cutest little things. Oh, my God. Everywhere we went, they would ask if they were mixed. Because my niece, Selena, I don't know if you guys have ever seen her. I think the OGs remember her from Alive like four years ago, five years ago. Curly, tight, tight, curly, black, thick, beautiful, beautiful curly hair. And Mariah too when she was little, but hers was like dirty blondish and curly, 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 curly. Mm. So everyone always like... We'd be at the stores and they're like, oh my God, they're so adorable. Are they mixed? Or their hair is gorgeous. And uh, my sister would always say, no, they're not mixed, but I wish. <laughs> I'm like, shut up. <laughs> oh man, my sister was a riot. Always was. I will forever miss her. Yesterday, you know, the grieving process is so strange. Because... While Steven and Des were out here and, you know, I was spending time with my cousins and the, the trip and this and that, I was kind of like, okay, things are returning back to normal, falling back into place. Mm. I grieved. I'm okay, you know? But what I failed to realize is that you will never stop grieving your loved ones. Things will never go back to the way they were. Yeah, things will get easier, but they will never be originally how they were because will, you will always have that void. And yesterday, um, it's so crazy because my sister had sent me a postcard and a letter like two years ago or a year. No, last year. And I never saw it. We have a Target uh, reusable shopping bag where we put all of our uh, like junk mail and stuff for shredding. And I hadn't got to the shredding. It's a tedious task. But I hadn't got to the shredding. So anyway, my mom was going through it and throwing a bunch of stuff. And um, so you came across it yesterday. Did you know what it was? You know, there were her letters. You did, and you didn't tell me. But I, I can't read them because... Oh. Oh, okay. So my mom... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Sis, you better stop it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
So my mom comes into my room yesterday and she hands me the letter and the postcard. And I didn't, th I didn't know what it was. She's just like, oh, you might want to save these. And she didn't tell me they're from your sister. I, and I didn't put two and two together. So I put them on my nightstand, not knowing what it was again. And um, I ended up going to the gas station because I've been really down in the dumps, guys. You know, suffering from the D word. Um, I've been sleeping all day till like four in the afternoon. Just sleeping, not wanting to get out of bed, no motivation to do anything, not even to film. Today's the first time I'm filming in seven days, almost eight days. So anyway, I was like, I'm going to go to the gas station and buy me some hot Cheetos. Come on, more fish and mozzarella set. Come on. Mom. <laughs> So I go, on the way back home, a song came on that reminded me of my sister. And I start to sob. I hate when this happens to me, because this happened to me in California. When you have emotions, you guys, I don't know if you're like me in this in this circumstance, but... If I feel that crying and I start to cry, I can't turn it off. I was just, I'm driving and I can barely see. I know it's so dangerous, but I couldn't help. I was hyperventilating. I, start, I was crying. So finally, I made it home safe. I wasn't too far from home. Made it home safe and I park. And I, Mariah was here on my computer and my mom was in her bedroom. I stayed in my drive, my drive port for like 10 minutes. I turned up the, that song on repeat to level like 45, 50, which is super loud. And I was screaming at the top of my lungs, screaming out for my sister and calling on her, telling her how I miss her and to forgive me if I ever hurt her or made her feel some type of way. And I'm screaming, you guys, at the top of my lungs. And tears, I mean, I'm just drenched from how much I'm crying. So anyway, I composed myself because I know Mariah's pregnant. She was due any day and I didn't want to upset her, you know, because she's so vulnerable emotionally right now that she's pregnant. You know, I didn't want to I didn't want it to affect her being so close that she's going to give you know birth to the baby. So I cleaned myself up, composed myself. I come into the room. She's on my computer. And when I lay on my bed. For whatever reason, I don't know, my eyes went directly to the postcard and it was slanted and I saw it and it said, love you, mommy and brother. I immediately knew that postcard was from my sister because she had asked me, bro, did you get my letter and my postcard? And I had told her, no, sis, it, was, it went in the junk mail. So I never got to see it. And immediately I knew that's what it was. And I just started screaming and crying in my bed. And I just lost it, you know. And then, uh, you know, Mariah starts, you know, sniffling. And and um, it was just, you know, it's just, it felt good to desahogarme. To, how do you say that in English? Desahogarme. Um, release? Like, get it off my chest. I felt good to cry like that because I hadn't cried for like a week or two, a couple weeks. Because I was so busy with everything, you know? I hadn't had a moment to stop and think and, you know, really think about that. But everyone grieves differently. Everyone grieves at their own pace. And we're gonna have those moments where we're up and those moments when we're down. But one thing I will say is I'm so grateful 
to each and every one of you guys, my BGA crew. I love you guys, especially those who join my late night Instagram chats. Thank you guys so much for being there for me and showing me all that love and support. I never have to feel alone again because all I have to do is turn on, you know, a live stream on Instagram or even here on YouTube as well. Um, and and you guys come on and, and are supportive. I feel like the IG and the Instagram lives are like a support group. Super supportive. Everyone's always, you know, offering advice to each other. Everyone comes in there and vents. And we have set moments when we cry. Moments when we're talk talking crap or whatever. And then other moments when we're laughing and, you know, talking naughty or <laughs> whatever, you know. But, um, anyway. The IG late night lives are for 18 and over. Because sometimes some of the topics we talk are adult oriented. So not like super crazy, but, you know, sometimes we like, oh, you know, my husband is, you know, cheating or what is your advice? Or, you know, people come in and we just talk and invent grown up talk, you know, so no children's, no children's. Oh, my gosh, I'm so full. You say you don't want one more? Don't ever do that again. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I could get you on camera. She's staring into space like this. I go, are you sure you don't want one more? And then she goes, Yep. <laughs> mm. Anyway, the freshness of this food, it was made to order. We had to wait a little bit. I don't mind waiting when it's fresh food. I don't care if they say pull off to the side, you know, wait another five, ten minutes. <laughs> Gladly. If you're making me fresh food, I don't care. I will wait with a smile. So they did that, went off to the side. The bags came boiling, piping hot. Everything was fresh out of the fryer. Um, so freshness, I give this a 10 out of 10. Flavor, 10 out of 10. The the batter on this, the uh, Hush Puppy batter, 10 out of 10. I hope that they keep that fish for good as, as, an, as a regular part of the menu. Uh, the fries and the curly fries, I'm sorry. These fry, curly fries beat Jack in the Box. Sorry. Those of you that are Jack in the Box fans, don't come for me. Go to Arby's and try them. I don't think I've ever had um, curly fries this crispy from Jack in the Box. Let me see. I'll be in charge of that. Mm, oh, it's all the crumbs, mama. Oh, it's okay. Just a little tiny bit. Yeah. Andale. Because I love the Mira, ones from uh, Jack in the Box. Yes. You should have got them while they were fresh and oh, piping oh. hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, well. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mom, there's mozzarella and. No, uh, I'm gonna put that in the uh, air, air fryer, fryer tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, I'll save this for you. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! So. <laughs> my mom's. <laughs> mm. Okay, you guys. <sighs> Once again. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. Um, please keep my beautiful niece, Mariah, and her precious baby in your guys' prayers, you guys. May she have a, a smooth and easy uh, delivery. And may the baby come out healthy and wonderful and happy in the name of Jesus. Um, please keep them in your prayers. And um, once again, you guys, please go try this at Arby's. I give it overall 10 out of 10 across the board 10 out of 10 everything was delicious um yeah with that being said thank you so much to my bga crew for your love and support if you're watching this and you're not yet a part of the bga crew you know what to do hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.